You'll never take back our country with weakness. The most high profile investigations right now are of course related to the January 6th insurrection. The FBI left the door open to indicting Trump, and the District of Columbia Attorney General specifically says he may charge Trump with a misdemeanor for inciting the riot. A guilty verdict would mean up to six months in jail. Though even while advocating for the criminal justice system to do what the Senate could not, Republican Minority Leader Mitch McConnell admitted, By the strict criminal standard, the president's speech probably was not incitement. The other big pending 2020 election case is related to Trump's pressuring of local election officials to overturn results, especially in Georgia. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. But election fraud cases are notoriously tough to prosecute. So Trump's greatest election peril might come out of a case that's already been made. The one against his former lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen related to the 2016 election. Cohen pleaded guilty to a range of crimes he said were directed by President Trump, including arranging illegal hush money payments ahead of the 2016 election. Cohen says were to cover up extramarital affairs. The President Trump knew exactly what he was paying for. There is no doubt in my mind. Trump has denied all those claims, along with a litany of other litigation in the works in New York. Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance has been looking at Trump and his businesses for insurance and financial fraud. And New York Attorney General Tish James may have a range of civil indictments under seal related to Trump inflating his assets to get loans and deflating his value to avoid taxes. 